Here we will talk about example 6 from the textbook, problem 2.40. Okay, and you can see that the length of this question gets longer. So you need to pay special attention to that. Okay, uh, let me remind you in the midterm as well as the final examination, most likely we will see this kind of problems that have a very, very long description about the situation. You need to be prepared for this kind of problems. And, and advice is that practice makes perfect, okay? Do more problems so that you can familiarize with this kind of question type, okay? So here, that's a classroom, okay? It contains 40 people and it should be air conditioned, okay? We need to install some air conditioning units, okay? And with a window air conditioning units of 5 kilowatt cooling capacity, that means each air conditioning unit can take out 5 kilowatts of heat inside this. A person at rest may be assumed to dissipate heat at a rate of about 360 kilojoule per hour. Okay? Okay, not the unit, it's kilojoule per hour. Okay? There are 10 light bulbs in the room, each with a rating of 100 watts. Okay? And the rate of heat transfer to classroom through the walls as well as the windows is to be estimated to be 15,000 kilojoule per hour. Okay, again, it's kilojoule per hour. And if the room air is to be maintained at a constant temperature of 21 degrees C, we need to determine the number of the window air conditioning units required. Okay, um, this is a very typical problem in building surfaces. We need to know how many air conditioning units we need so to provide thermal comfort inside a certain compartment. Okay, so try this before you see the solution. Well, I have expected that you have done this problem for three days, so let us see the solution. So the solution is like this. Well, all of them should be about energy balance, okay? So we will write the energy balance equation first, okay? E in minus E out equal to delta E of the system, okay? But in this case, the delta E should be equal to zero. Why? Because we need to maintain the temperature inside the classroom to be constant. So this delta E should be zero. And the, or we say that the energy content inside the classroom should be a constant. Okay. Okay, in this case, we can rearrange so that E in equal to E out. Okay, because there is no delta E, so for this kind of problems, we can say that it's steady. Okay, E in equal to E out, and we can also take the rate form that is E in dot equal to E out dot. Okay, so let us analyze each term one by one. What's E dot in? What's E dot in? Okay, first of all, we have the person at rest assumed to dissipate the heat at a rate of about 360 kilojoule per hour and there are 40 people inside this room so you will have e dot in equal to 360 kilojoule we will do some units conversion here 560 kilojoule per hour so if we would like to convert it to in terms of what we need to divide it by the second okay one hour have 60 times 60 second but remember, we have 40 people here, okay? We have 40 people here, so we need to multiply it by 40, okay? And then we also have 10 light bulbs here, and each of them will have 100 watts. But remember, because here we have used kilojoule, okay? Here we have used kilojoule, so we need to convert this watt or the units to kilowatt first. And this 10 is the number of light bulbs in this room. And one more thing, we also have a heat transfer through the walls as well as the windows, okay? It is estimated to be this value. Again, it is a per hour, per hour, but we need to convert it to kilowatts, so we need to change it to per second. So that we need to, again, we need to do some unit conversion, that is uh, this one. 15,000 kilojoule divided by 60 times 60 second. Okay. So what's the answer? Okay. Let me get a calculator. So 360 times 40, 60, okay. Plus uh, 10 times 100 divided by 1,000 plus 1,500 divided by 60 divided by 60. We get this value. So we will get a uh, 
n i o n one six seven n i o n one six seven kilowatt okay we get this value for e out what is e out because we know that each of this air conditioner have a five kilowatt cooling capacity okay so that the e out should be n times a five kilowatt where this n is the number of the air conditioning units that we need to install okay so if we put all the values here so 9.167 equal to uh, n times 5 so that we will get n equal to uh, yeah, this one 9.167 divided by 5 and we get this 1.83 1.83 okay but uh, as you know that for the air conditioning units it should be an integer okay so in this case what's the number of air con units required okay one or two one or two okay run up run off or run down okay one or two okay it should be two the reason is that if we only have one air conditioning unit it cannot satisfy this condition so we need two units so that we can at least maintain this uh, constant temperature otherwise the classroom would heat up okay this classroom will heat up so we get this answer number of units required should be two okay so we have finished this problem